Hello, it's Journey Smollett Bell, and you're watching New You. How does it feel to be celebrating Underground Season 2 here at Sundance? It feels amazing because people are like so excited about yeah. Season 2 because they've seen Season 1, yeah. you know, and the anticipation has been building. People are like kind of impatient with us. You know, the fans write us all the time saying, come on already, where's the show? <laughs> I love it now. So what can the fans expect from season two? Oh, man. If they think season one was bananas, season two, the stakes are just off the charts. I mean, what we did, I couldn't even believe we even survived <laughs> filming season two. Wow. Yeah. It must have been intense. It was the most intense I've most intense project I've ever been a part of, wow. yeah. Lots to look forward to, lots to look forward to. And like the atmosphere here is really fun as well. What what else do you want to do while you're here? Do you have films you want to see, places you want to go? See, uh, the thing is they, they make this schedule like back to back to back. And you're like, yeah, oh my right? gosh, my friend is in this film or my friend's, friend's producing this, I want to see it. It's like, I know. Hey, it's but there's no time. There's no time. I know. Well, you look lovely. Who's this dress by? This is really fun, I love it. Really fun. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank Very you. fun. Now we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give younger fans, your younger self, young people? I would say self-care is very important. Uh -huh. You know, I don't think we give ourselves the approval to take care of ourselves enough. And whatever that means, it could be journaling or taking a bath or going on a hike or going on a vacation to Bali. I don't know, whatever it means right. for you. Um, we, we are in that generation of having to hustle and work so hard that we forget to stop, turn the cell phone off, and tune into us, you know? And so that's kind of my mission. Um, when I feel like really frazzled and overwhelmed, I try to literally just throw my cell phone in the closet and do something that makes me feel good. Well, in terms of skincare, because your skin's amazing, I have to oh, say, thank you. what do you do to take care of it? When I tell you I had ha had acne my entire life, yeah, man, I was like, like getting a compliment about my skin is always so weird for me, because I'm like, oh. well, I, I <laughs> What did you do about that, though? Like, Honestly, it's it. I I swear I used proactive. Oh, yeah. And that worked out. Yeah, it did. Like it worked out for me. Yeah. You know, like I think working under hard lights and having yeah. to like wear so much makeup yeah. and then oh, the gosh. food on sets. Right. It's All very yummy, but it's, you know, clogging for the pores and stuff like that. So, and the hormones. I had the worst acne in the world growing up. It was like, it made me kind of like insecure about my skin and yeah, whatever. You know what? It's in the past. Yeah, and you know how many people past. can relate to that? I mean, I think yeah, everybody, I know, I know, people I know. aren't even still getting acne, you know, up until. I know. Like, you know and then I don't want to cry and complain about it. I mean, there's yeah. real problems in no, life. It's good to embrace the present. You're great skin now. Fantastic. <laughs> now, what do you have coming up in the new year you're excited about? Man, my son. <laughs> I'm excited. I reared a child. He's two months old. Congratulations. I'm growing a whole human being. <laughs> I mean, how can, there's nothing more exciting than that. No, nothing more exciting. I mean, I'm excited, of course, about Underground coming out March 8th and yes, stuff, but, but Hunter, I mean, come on, he does it for me.